Hello everybody. So America's sex offender director dad, <laughs> Harvey Weinstein, he is now diagnosed with the coronavirus. That is the entire story. So if you guys want to click away because you got some of the other better things to do, do it. You're welcome for that. This entire story is literally going to be on the details about like how he got it and how is he doing overall. And yep, that's pretty much it. So anyway, I got the story from The Intercept, so let's see what they have to say. Quote, Although unconfirmed, it is likely that Weinstein contracted the virus at Rikers Island Jail, where he was held until he transferred to Wendy Correctional Facility last week in New York City, where at least 29 incarcerated people and 17 staff in the jail system have been infected by the coronavirus, largely in the Rikers complex. The number of cases is expected to skyrocket with deadly consequences. Okay. Now, what was kind of interesting about this as well was the fact that he was held in isolation. So my first question was like, wait, what the f How did he get the coronavirus if he was held in isolation? I thought this was like a, you know, hashtag Jeffrey Epstein kind of situation, which I mean, it could be shit for all I know. But it looks like some, there's two guards that were mostly with him, both had contracted the virus. And the virus can live on surfaces for a number of days. And so chances are it was the guards that gave him the virus, probably like how Jeffrey Epstein it was probably the guards that, you know, killed him or whatever. Which, by the way, me just mentioning that is obviously going to cut the views and get this demonetized, but screw it. I don't give a shit. But anyway, as of now, Weinstein was transferred to an infirmary ward and moved to an upstate facility, quote unquote. So he was moved to like a rich facility. We don't know the name of the facility yet. They're trying to keep that under wraps, probably because he's, a, you know, a serial rapist. So maybe that's why. But anyway, that's all we have. Will he survive? Well, I mean, generally speaking, he should. But right now, I mean, the United States, roughly about a 1% death rate. Uh, yesterday, there was like 90,000 people infected in the United States. Now there's over 100,000. Two days ago, 60,000. So it's just increasing dramatically. My guess is that the death rate will get up around 5 to 10% pretty soon. Like Italy, it's 10%. And China, who now has it under wraps a little bit, it's around uh, 4%. So is he gonna survive? Yeah, yeah, he's probably gonna survive. Now, real quick, you might be thinking like, oh, damn, he's gonna survive. No, he deserves to die. Objectively speaking, all I'm gonna say is that if he survives this, he has 22 years in prison. So there is that. <laughs> like, I'll let you take your guess as to what's worse, worse, dying or doing 22 years in prison. Other than that, there is a story about how he had slipped and has concussion-like symptoms, and we never found out if he had a concussion or not, and so it's, it's kind of that as well. And in addition to that too, there was an idea as to like whether he had heart problems because he went to the hospital because he has a heart stint now. And during the trial, he had like a, a walker with him, but at the other hand, he did have back surgery prior, so did he still need it? Maybe, maybe not. He was probably being dramatic, to be honest with you. It probably hurt him a little bit, but also at the same time, when he was walking around outside of the trial, he didn't have a walker. Like, that was reported as well. And so between the concussion, potentially, the stint, you have the walker, potentially, and then you have the coronavirus. Doesn't look like he's in pretty good shape right now. Thought you guys would probably like an update on America's swamp incarnate. Just because, you know, he's, he's kind of a representation of a lot of problems right now obviously and so i think it's important to understand like what is going on with him and how is that reflective of today's society anywho thought you guys would get something out of this if you did not it is what it is otherwise thank you very much have a safe quarantine live long and prosper or don't prosper if the unemployment rate is going to increase the way it is either way peace out